In this video, I'm going to share the top five AIR generators for printer demand sellers, in my opinion, and I'm going to judge this based on how much you can actually use them for free and how suitable they are for generating print on demand graphics. And by the way, at the time of recording this, I have checked all of these tools to make sure that the free versions also allow commercial usage for these graphics. However, things can always change in the future, so make sure to always double check the terms and conditions. In the number five spot, we've got Copilot or Microsoft Bing's uh, image creator. This one, to give you a few statistics, lets you generate 60 images per day. That's the maximum. And you can run a total of 15 prompts. This is what the sort of front page looks like. I will have a link to all of the tools in the description. You do need to have a uh, like a Microsoft account to use this. But besides that, you don't need to sign up to any trials and your credits right here. 15 credits do reset on a daily basis. You can explore ideas on this front page. Or if you click into creations, you see what you've generated in the past. Now, this first example right here is a prompt that's meant to generate a vintage sunset graphic that says just a dad who loves eagles and as you can see this does really struggle with the text reason being it's using dal e3 and that is not the greatest one for text but the graphics are still decent so if you're generating just graphics and adding the text later on yourself this one can definitely be good let's try another prompt right here um, this is for a wolf graphic that says uh, says stay wild so we've got less words right there and um, the way to use it is literally just type in your prompt at the top hit create, then it's going to subtract one of your credits right here. It takes a while to generate four images. And there we go. Now we've got some results, which again, don't look bad in terms of the graphics, but the text is kind of messed up. So stick to more graphics oriented prompts without text. If you want to use Copilot for your designs, um, you've got the history right here on the right hand side, but this is still in my opinion, better than using a DALI 3 through the free ChatGPT version, because there you're only generating one image at a time. And also it limits you a lot on the, on the free version. You generate like two images and then you're done. And you have to take like a break from DALI 3 for a few hours for it to work again. So Copilot, Definitely a decent one if you're starting out with generating AI art, but I would stay away from prompts that have text included. In the number four spot, we've got Mystic POD. This is a tool I started testing a few days ago, and it is really impressive. I'm probably going to make a separate video about this and to focus on the stats first. With the free version, you can generate a total of 83 images. I'm pretty sure the credits right here do not refill, which is a bit of a downside. But the upside is this is literally designed for print and demand sellers. You've got some really cool templates and styles for like specifically for t-shirt designs or other print and demand products. You've got built-in background remover, vectorizer, upscaler, and much more. This is what it looks like once you're logged in. It's a very easy to use dashboard. And these are some of the graphics I've been generating. As you can see, a lot of them look very suitable for POD. And the way it works is you type in your prompt at the top right here into this prompt bar, and then you can select the type of product you want to design. So let's do t-shirt. You've got a magic prompt setting that you can turn on or off. Uh, that works the same way it would do in Ideogram, for example. Then you've also got a slider to select the amount of designs you're generating. So you can do up to eight designs at once, but the credits also do go up that you're using right here. On a free plan, you get 500 credits. You essentially have the choice. Do you want to run 83 prompts with just one image? Um, that's what these credits are enough for. Or do you want to have multiple results per prompt and then you can run as many prompts as 80 then you might only you know run 20 30 prompts and then run out of credits and let's just stick to one design at a time right here to preserve our credits a bit and notice as well how we've got some style presets as well down here so if you're looking for something specific this is quite a nature inspired design so you know i might just select that one and try it out but you've got a lot of presets we've got kawaii right here we've got 3d typography handwritten quotes we've got retro sunset line art you can see this was literally designed for pod sellers we've got seasonal designs as well as a style at the very end um, but let's generate this one see what it comes back with and there we go that's a really really nice looking result i think the background remover yeah this is limited to the 
Pro version, unfortunately, but you can tell that the actual graphic style that this turns out is amazing. There's no trial period attached to it either. It's just the set amount of credits. And another thing I want to show you is if we click into templates right here, they have a lot of pre-made templates again for sort of common print on demand styles of designs. And you can either filter at the top right here through these styles if you're looking for something specific, or you can also scroll through if you found one that you like, you select it right here, you can hit remix and then just tell it what you want to be changed. So if we wanted a hat design like this, but with a different animal, maybe we could say change this to, let's do rabbits and hit remix. Again, you could have done more than one design there. And there we go. Now we've got the same sort of hat design with rabbits and it's changed this to carrots as well instead of the eggs that that we had before with the chickens. This one rabbit looks a bit deformed. That's something that could be fixed afterwards or you could you know, regenerate this a couple of times until you get a decent result. But it shows that this is literally designed to be as easy as possible to use for POD sellers with a ton of really cool uh, presets. And I really like the look of this tool. The only downside if you're trying to use it for free is that I think that the prompt or the credits are limited and they don't sort of refresh like they would do with some of the other suggestions in this video. But Mystic POD, definitely a great looking tool that is worth testing out if you're looking to get some great results for your t-shirt designs. By the way, if you're struggling to come up with decent prompts for your t-shirt designs, then make sure to check out my 100 print on demand prompt guide, which is linked at the top of the description. In the number three spot, we've got another AI image generator, which I've never mentioned before on this channel, but that definitely caught my eye whilst I was doing my research. This one's called Playground AI, and you can actually use it for 15 images every three hours on the free version. So you get a lot of usage out of this, and it is based on templates. So you've got a bunch of categories right here. For POD, you probably want to focus on t-shirt, stickers, cards and invites, maybe poster designs as well. If you click into t-shirts right here, you will see a lot of really cool looking templates. And notice how some of them have this little pro badge in the top right corner. Those are unfortunately limited to the pro version, but there is a lot of free templates as well. And the way this works is, let's say you like this one right here with the pug, you can click into it, and then you can say what you want to change at the bottom. So do you want to add something to it, change the text, change the color perhaps, or replace the animal in this graphic? There's a lot of different ways to approach this. Let's say we just want to change the text to proud pug mama hit create then this refreshes you have to wait a few seconds and here we go that's how quickly you can generate some really cool looking graphics for print and demand with playground ai the only downside is you can't really start from scratch with your own prompt you're always kind of limited to these templates but still the fact that you can use playground quite a lot of times every single day and you have the kind of style for t-shirts already right there, that is a massive benefit. Let me show you another example with this template right here. Let's say you wanted to change this to a dog instead of a cat, hit create. And by the way, I just missed it, but you've got some, some other style presets as well. On the right hand side, there's a, another button where right here you can essentially further customize the style of this graphic. But yeah, there we go, it's refreshed. It now has a dog in there. Looks really, really good, very suitable for Halloween. And once you're done, you can click export in the top right corner and then download your graphics that way. And the upscaling and background removal features are limited to the pro version as well, unfortunately. But nonetheless, this is definitely a great option for anyone looking to generate really nice looking print and demand graphics totally for free. So a few days after recording this video, I actually discovered that yes, you can indeed use Playground with your own custom prompts as well to generate images from scratch. Um, you do that by heading to playground.com forward slash create. And then here at the top, you just paste your prompt or type it in and hit create. You've also got a setting for the number of images you want to put out. And so far, what I've found is that this is very slow at generating images, but it also works for free, which is awesome. And thanks a lot to Keith for making me aware of this via email. This is also a little plug for my email newsletter because I actually sent out an email about Playground AI ahead of time. So if you subscribe to my newsletter, sometimes you'll find out about these new tools that I discover in advance. 
but let's see what this comes back with right here once it's finally finished generating. So here we go, that was just over four minutes, so it takes super long, which is definitely a bit of a downside. The result right here does look okay. The text is accurate, just a dad who loves eagles. Eagles at the bottom is a bit hard to read, but the graphic in the middle does not look very POD friendly, at least in my opinion. The wings right here look a bit messy as well, so it's okay, it's not amazing, and I also noticed uh, if you click on your profile icon right here, it does say that you just get 10 images every 24 hours. So this part of Playground AI, in my opinion, is not as great as the templated version, but it is still an alternative to play around with. And I'm sure you can probably also find some prompts right here that give you better results than this one. And the runner up for this episode, in the second place, we've got Ideogram. This is definitely one of my favorite AI image generators. It turns out some really, really good looking graphics for PD, and it also has very high text accuracy, which is a good bonus. And on the free plan, you can generate up to 40 images with up to 10 prompts per day. So that's a decent amount but you need to have this set to a specific rendering setting called Turbo. So let me show you how to do that. This is the prompt bar where you enter your prompt. If you don't see the advanced options, you have to click on this little arrow right here and then change this from the default to Turbo, which uses less credits. And that is with the model 2.0, which is the latest one. If you're using the old model 1.0, you can use whichever setting you want and the credits don't change. But yeah, 2.0 gets the best results and we're going to use turbo setting right here. Um, let me just run one of my sample prompts right here. You can also select a style for t-shirt design. Design is going to be the best setting, but you can leave it on auto as well and then it will kind of identify from your prompt which style would be the most suitable. So let's hit generate on this. And one more thing that I really like about Ideogram is that you have this explore tab. We can scroll through the community results and find some really good prompts. Uh, like this one looks really, really cool. Um, you can click into any existing images. You can see the base prompt, the magic prompt, if one was generated. You can see what style they used. You can click on use right here on this plus symbol and then use the same prompt yourself, make some changes to it. And uh, this makes it really easy to essentially find good ideas for t-shirt designs with the right style already sort of pre-applied. Let's see what our generation looks like. Here we go, just a dad who loves Eagles, spelled correctly, the sunset graphic looks really good. Again, spelled correctly, just a dad who loves Eagles. Yeah, all of these look really, really good. They've got that nice, simplistic style of vintage sunsets. Really cool looking font for Eagles as well. And yeah, th these sorts of graphics can work extremely well on t-shirts. If you're happy with uh, one of the results, you can click on these three dots right here and then download the result as a PNG file. And that doesn't mean that the background is automatically removed, but um, you're going to get higher quality if you download in PNG instead of JPEG. So yeah, ideogram, definitely a really good option. And um, it's a shame you can only use it for 10 prompts per day. It would be cool to be able to, you know, slide down the amount of images you get back and maybe get 40 prompts per day with just one image as the result. But nevertheless, you do have the added bonus of this massive explore page where um, you can filter through different styles. And by the way, you can also type in something that you're looking for. So if you want to create Christmas designs, just type in the Christmas keyword right here. And there you go. Now you've got a bunch of prompts to work with to kind of apply some cool Christmas styles to your own niches and ideas. One more thing that you could do is you could just type in t-shirt because a lot of these prompts will have t-shirt graphic or t-shirt design included in there. And that way, again, you will find a lot of really good looking designs that will work great for print on demand. And the winner in the first place of this countdown is Flux Pro, or more specifically, running Flux Pro through the Glyph website, where it's actually available for free for up to 20 prompts per day. And there's also a way to get a higher limit or upgrade your prompt limit, which I'm going to go into in a second here. But first of all, the way this works is I've set up a few Glyphs for different versions of the Flux AI model. So we've got Flux Pro over here on the right hand side. And um, this is definitely the most popular and also my favorite. Then we've got Flux Schnell, which is very fast, but also the quality is not that great sometimes. So this one um, I wouldn't really use too much. And then we've also got Flux Pro 1.1, which is also referred to as Blueberry. That one also gets amazing results. In my opinion, not as good 
as the original Flux Pro right here, version 1.0, but that is up to you. You can test all of these different glyphs right here, which I'm going to share a link to in the description. Let's go to Flux Pro to begin with and show you how this works. So all you have to do is just type in your prompt up here, hit run this glyph, and then it takes around 20 seconds um, to get a result with Flux Pro. Now, the reason I chose this right here for the first place over ideogram is because I think in some cases or in many cases Flux Pro actually gets slightly better results. Now for vintage sunsets I actually think ideogram is slightly better but there are a lot of styles where Flux Pro is definitely ahead of ideogram for print and demand at least in my opinion and I'm going to show some examples of that on screen. You can see what other people are generating right here as well on this specific glyph and I think this is also a good example of a type of graphic that I think ideogram would struggle with if it looks more like a cartoon or a kawaii themed graphic. Also the overall text accuracy and the, the way the fonts or the, the text effects look is really really good with Flux Pro as well in my opinion. Now, if you're stuck with the daily limit of 20 images and you keep running out, there is a way to get upgraded. As you can see, I've got 200 right here. If you click on your own limit and then scroll down on this page, it tells you right here, you can apply for a Glyph Creator Pass. And this page has a bunch of questions answered regarding how to get that Creator Pass, what you have to do for it to potentially have your limit increased. But anyways, here we go. This is another cool looking result for a more sort of kawaii theme graph. Graphic. By the way, this is just my opinion based on what I'm currently using. I'm mainly using Flux Pro for my own designs, but let me know in the comments down below what you think as well. Like what's your favorite out of the ones I mentioned? Is there one that I didn't mention, which I should have shown that you think really deserves to be on this list? I'd be really curious to hear your opinion let us know in the comments down below. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, comment Eagles underneath. That way we could confuse a few people who didn't make it to the end. And I know that generating the graphics is only one thing, but oftentimes we struggle with removing the backgrounds as well. And that's why I created this video right here, where I teach you two very effective methods to remove complex backgrounds.